I found an old poem of mine and I really like it and poetry always works best out loud so I'm gonna read it and then post this. I'm not a real poet I'm just this is for my friends. Um, I wrote this poem probably 2016 2017 uh, I work at a literary nonprofit and people call us for advice all the time and um, I generally would answer the phone and these people would just start talking and I wouldn't know how to tell them that I couldn't help them so then I would just try and figure out how to help them anyway and um, my coworker Rachel would always be like I don't know why you even talk to those people, Bridget? You should just, you know, tell them you can't help them and hang up and get back to work. Or my other coworker, Dee, would, like, if I was on the phone too long, she would come into the office and be like, do you need me to, do you need me to, like, pretend to call you so you can hang up? And I would just be like, no, 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 and I would talk with, with these people. And this one guy, Tommy Heavens, Tommy Heavens um, called me, and he couldn't figure out how to, to find his poems that he'd published on a free poetry website and he really wanted them um, he wanted the links and so I decided to just google them for him and I asked if I could email them to him and he didn't have access to email either he seemed to be an older man um, not the most educated person in the world but he was still a, an accomplished communicator and a poet and I ended up taking his address down and printing the poems out and mailing them to him. And I just thought it was so sweet. And so this is the poem that I wrote, like, I think on my lunch break after this happened. Okay. Tommy Heaven's voice coming down the line from Stone Mountain, Georgia, to tell me in my new position, his reunion. He needs his poems which like flat lake stones he'd skipped out on the calm surface of the internet and watched sink without a sound. Needs them back now, for show. We don't do this kind of thing, but his voice on the line is sad to me and draws me in like a cave. This office number, Lord knows how he tracked down. Oh, I read it wrong, going back. Draws me in like a cave. Lord knows how he tracked this office number down. Receiver pressed hotly to my face. What kind of poet loses his poems? A real poet. Doesn't say much. Words missing parts like teeth or fingers. A search finds his poems tucked in a folded corner of the free world wide web. Embarrassing poems about God and joy. Simple handmade things like what my mother wrote me. Heavens has no computer, so it's a stranger who reaches up and grabs these slightly deflated balloons of psalms that have escaped him to the ceiling of his memory. Who would want them? He cries wetly with them found. Stone Mountain address, the only caretaker of these poems stuck in analog Georgia, and it's up to me to print them on computer paper, because it matters, and to mail them gingerly. I made myself cry with my own poem. I'm just crying like thinking about like all the people like him who they write their own poetry for themselves. <laughs>